My name is Natasha Springer and I work as a cloud operation engineer at Pixado. Today I wanted to tell you a little bit more about my unusual path to ops engineering. A few years ago, I had uh, one of the toughest jobs in the world. I had become a stay-at-home mom to my two wonderful kids, um, Max and Ella. <laughs> and um, I realized that gaining parenting skills really prepared me well to re-enter the workforce, or so I thought. For example, I picked up time management, tried to do 28 hours of work in 24. Um, <laughs> I also learned about problem solving, communication, collaboration. Uh, another fun example is uh, try to get a toddler to do something they don't want to do. That's a true challenge right there. Um, I also picked up uh, dedication and reliability. Parents have truly mastered what it means to be reliable. Time becomes such a precious commodity that it cannot be wasted on support. A few years uh, later, I was really excited to be into the workforce and thought I could face anything that would come my way. Unfortunately, um, the views and opinions, the views of potential employers were very negative about stay-at-home parents. They considered it a risk uh, to hire me. So I went back to the drawing board, we thought about the skills I had just picked up and the things I, I like to do, and I started to teach myself how to code. I was lucky enough to uh, get a web development fellowship at the Flatiron School, a 22-week program that was created to enable uh, diversity in a New York City tech pipeline. Upon graduation, I got a job at the Wall Street Journal as DevOps engineer. Um, the enthusiasm of uh, employers in the tech industry was rather refreshing compared to what I had encountered before. And uh, just a few months ago, I landed my dream job at Kickstarter, where I really started to develop a passion for DevOps engineering. And um, um, <laughs> at Kickstarter, we, are, we have a Ruby on Rails uh, monolithic application, and we are moving towards a microservice-oriented architecture leveraging Docker. Uh, we also wanted to use AWS Lambda to enable automation. So you're going to ask me, what is Lambda? Well, uh, Lambda is a serverless compute service that runs your code, uh, uh, runs your code uh, triggered by specific events. We use Lambda at Kickstarter for our resource creation in cloud formation template. To use them, we needed tools, for example, the deployment service. So we picked Apex, a great, uh, a great deployment service that allows for a great workflow. We also needed to start thinking about testing. So we write our Lambdas with Node and write unit tests like we would do for any other code base. And we also use a module called Lambda Local. Um, it allows you to run your functions on your local machine with using sample event data. Now that we had all our tooling set up, it was time to start building them. So, for example, we built a Lambda Finder that would gather all the information needed to spin up a new instance. This Lambda Finder would be triggered by a cloud formation template and would, for example, retrieve the VPC ID and the subnets associated with this VPC or even use logic to retrieve the latest AMI for your instance. Another example uh, is recently we built, we used Lambda to build access control list for other services such as Vault, or Secret Store, or Console, or Service Discovery Tool. So these were just a few very quick examples on how one ops engineer can leverage Lambda to automate their infrastructure. I hope it will give you a few ideas on how to use them. And as I'm reaching the end of my talk, I just wanted to say that uh, this big career change would not have been possible without the help and support of a few key allies along the way. I could not have done it without them. Um, thank you, and uh, find me on Twitter, and I'll just to come for more questions about Lambda. All right.